Good morning from our final day here in Vermont. Uh, I don't want to go home yet. It's beautiful here. We're going to try to make the most of it. Uh, we're going to head down to this general store that's almost 200 years old. We're going to check that out. And then I think we're probably going to come back and pack early because we have to catch a flight at 6.15 in the morning. Bernard. Behind us is the Bernard General Store. It was established in 1832. It closed its doors in 2012. For the first time since it opened, the community rallied together, raised a bunch of money to kind of get it back up and going, and new owners took over in 2013, and it reopened, which I think is really cool, and it's very reminiscent to our community coming together when our store was struggling back in May. And we just thought that was really cool. It's a quaint little town. It's on Silver Lake here, which is absolutely stunning. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Some breakfast sandwiches and some sweets because Lord knows we don't need any more of those. We're gonna go eat them across the way. The inside is closed because they're short staffed right now. So if anybody's local to the area wants a job, go play. Bernard General Store is pretty awesome. If you're anywhere near here, definitely check it out. Go in and buy something, help this place stay alive, guys, because there aren't very many like it no. left. And speaking from personal experience, they can use every little soda, every Piece bag of, candy, of chips that you want to give them. Anything. And they've got gas and literally... Do they have gas? Yeah, they have a little bit of everything. So. They do. They seem to have a lot of um, just like your basic essentials that you need for, for anything, really. So go check them out. They're really cool. And right across the street, you have this view. So grab a sandwich and come hang out. Anywhere we go, Lydia loves cemeteries, so we always wind up driving through a lot of cemeteries. This is one of her favorites that we've been in, and we've gone into pretty much every one we've seen since we've been here in Vermont. The one that we're in right now is Hope Cemetery in Waterbury. We were uh, driving back through this way, and so we decided to drive through one more time. They're really pretty. <laughs> I got out to take a picture of a really pretty headstone that said Tracy on it, which is my mom's name. And as I was walking up, I heard a rustling in the leaves and it startled me and I turned around and there was the tiniest little chipmunk whose face was like chock full of little nuts. He was the cutest. We are almost back to our Airbnb now, but uh, we've driven by this cemetery every single time we've come and gone to the Airbnb. It's the Mountain View Cemetery. 
Yes, Mountain View Cemetery, and it's beautiful, and this is the first time that we've had good enough weather to get out and walk around. Every once in a while I lose Lydia in a graveyard. And I always get slightly concerned that something ate her. She's around her somewhere. <laughs> clean up our giant mess and with that done we get to relax a little before dinner we are flying home tomorrow at 6 15 in the morning so we uh, will be leaving this beautiful Airbnb at about 3 15 in the morning to get to the airport on time I am bummed to be going home we've had a really amazing time here it's been it's been really nice. Um, we definitely needed a bit of a little vacation from regular life, so this has been fun, and Vermont was one heck of a place to pick. We were told that we would miss a lot of the color, and I know that we missed the big show, but seriously, the color that was left was phenomenal. And even the locals told us that like this color did stick around a little bit, mm -hmm. not as much as it was before, but they were all very surprised that we had as much as we did, so... I think the thing that surprised me the most is how stunningly beautiful every inch of this state is. And you have to understand too that we come from Texas where most everything is flat. So any type of mountains or hills and we're very excited. It's just all of the like sheer rock faces and the huge trees and all of the color. The apple trees really stole my heart. I, I am so in love with all the apple trees. So much so that she's already researched what apple trees will grow in Texas and we're probably gonna get some when we get home. Yep. <laughs> All these small little towns that we went to, uh, Waterbury, um, Stowe, Stowe, Morristown, all of these places have great little places to eat as far as like nice restaurants or mm -hmm. just pizza and they're all really cool vibes. Yeah. And what's really great about it too is that it's all local businesses. We haven't seen one McDonald's one Walmart. We've seen, what, a couple of Dunkin' Donuts? And I saw a McDonald's on a, a Google map when I was looking yeah. at it, but I actually never saw it, which is great because back home, man, those they put those golden arches up so you can see them when you're Four driving miles. anywhere. <laughs> and that's another thing that I loved about Vermont is Texas is covered in advertisements as far as, like, big, giant billboards and all this other stuff. You got none of that here. It's just... When you're driving, it's just nature and it's, it's great. It's just gorgeous. We also loved the cider. The beers. The foliage. The cemeteries. The people. The drives. The scenery. The houses. So many of the houses are these big, beautiful, historical buildings that are just, like, they're just stunning. And we have some of those in Texas but not to this level. And it's like everywhere you turn, there's another two-story, you know, four times added on to house built in the early 1800s. And they all kind of tell a story, too. Mm -hmm. When you go to uh, the UK or anywhere where there's, like, really old buildings, especially castles, you can see different centuries they added things on. Here, they kind of do the same thing, where you see, like, the original house up front, and then slowly they've added on to the back or to the side, and you can see the slightly newer builds, but still it just adds a lot of character. In all, if we could move here today, I would do it. <laughs> I feel like I should tell everybody that Lydia pretty much wants to move anywhere we've been so far. She wants to move to Ireland. She yep. wants to move to Scotland. Yes. She wants to move to Vermont. Please. All of them. <laughs> So maybe one day when we're big successful actors or writers or screenwrites or... Or travel vloggers. Right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Uh, or one of our other three websites <laughs> pans out for something. Then maybe we can afford a little getaway home in all of those places. Since tomorrow is going to be a travel day, uh, we are going to film it. But we're going to get up really early and get to the airport... 
Today, all we've got left to do is enjoy our B&B for a little while, then go grab some dinner and maybe some dessert. Yep, and we intend to hit up some of our favorite places. Like mac and cheese at Prohibition Pig. And cheesecake cones from Pizza on Main. Oh God. I think we're getting better at it. Yeah, that was a lot better. Can we do that more naturally? We're into... I think we're getting better. I don't know. Maybe you should say it first. That one felt good. I think we're getting better. I think so. Well, we couldn't get worse. We could. This is worse. This is this is bad. Yeah. <laughs> Get your mouth up my camera. Can that Nap be? time.